how could an unconscious creative force create things that are greater than itself? How do you refute to someone that God is a conscious being? How do I refute? also that the Bible is not just a book. Okay. So can you say the first part first is that how do I refute if someone says yeah. God is a conscious being? God is not a conscious being. Oh, God Sorry. is not a conscious being. Okay. Sure. And the, the Bible is not just only any other book. Yeah. Okay. Um, you've asked two very big questions there, but I appreciate yeah. them. What's your name? I'm David. Hi, David. Um, you asked two very good questions and very big questions there. So the first thing is that there are those who think that, that if there is a creative force to the universe, it's an unconscious being. Paul Davies is a good example of this. Paul Davies um, uh, doesn't necessarily believe in a personal God. He's a physicist who believes that the universe was in fact created by a divine mind that had some level of intentionality, so some kind of consciousness, but the universe itself is called panpsychism, that all the universe is actually... Um, alive in some sense, that there's a consciousness behind everything. Others would say that God could be like a deistic God. A deist would believe that God exists, is conscious, but he creates the world, winds it up like you wind up a toy, and then lets it go and sees what happens. Um, others would say that maybe God is an unconscious force, like you're wearing a Star Wars shirt, like the force. By the way, George Lucas got the whole concept of the force and all that, and Jedis and all that stuff from Hinduism. Oh yeah, the whole idea is that you become one with the impersonal force of, and you lose your individuality. That's the whole point, which is why certain people in the Star Wars movie actually become, break the mold and they become like, uh, they come one with the force, but they can become back in certain, certain ghost forms or whatever. Um, how, do I, how do I show this? A couple of ways. First is this, is that the creative force of the universe looks like it made choices because if you have a creative force of the universe and it just, what would, what would account for, how could an unconscious creative force create things that are greater than itself? Because I would say consciousness tends to be greater than unconsciousness, right? So if I see an unconscious person that's sitting there, what do we try to do? Wake them up to consciousness, right? A carrot is of lesser form than a baby because carrots are alive. It's a life form, but it doesn't have volition, it doesn't have morality, it doesn't make choices, none of these things. So consciousness is always greater than non-consciousness. And so if the universe itself, or the creative force of the universe, were an unconscious force, then what accounts for why we have it? The creation outstrips the creator? And I have no ability, this is the interesting part, okay? So I can make something like this. I personally can't make an iPhone, but we collectively have made an iPhone. Yeah. We call this thing a phone for reasons I don't understand, because no one makes calls anymore. Um, <laughs> and this machine, by the way, this machine yeah. has more computing power in it. The one that I'm holding has more computing power in it than all the computers that sent the first rockets to the moon. This one machine does, okay? That's our collective genius, all right? We still can't make a person out of nothing. We still can't do that. We have AI and all this stuff, but none of that. Artificial intelligence is neither artificial nor intelligent, by the way. Um, uh, but if the universe creates us and we outstrip the universe, that doesn't seem to flow correctly because this thing is not greater than me. This thing might compute faster than me. It might do a whole lot of things, but it can't be president. And it can't do a whole lot of things that I can do because it's a machine that I created. It's always gonna be lesser than me. And so I think if we say that consciousness typically is greater than non-consciousness, and the universe, which is so great that it creates me, I can't create universes, I can create phones, we can create cars, I can't create universes because I feel like it. I can't create worlds. So I would be less, see the paradox here? That a perfectly conscious person has less creative power than an unconscious force, but that unconscious force has less consciousness than the thing it created. Do you see the, the, the inherent problem there? Yeah. So I would say that consciousness is greater than unconsciousness, and therefore the creation which has consciousness cannot possibly be greater than the unconscious thing that created it. An unconscious force would just create rocks, as opposed to things greater than itself. Yeah. See what I'm getting at? Yeah. So I think that's one way.